four people in the bottom. If you've been on one of these calls, you've probably experienced people talking over each other. And then there's this. If someone's dog comes into it or someone stops paying attention. Then you might miss what someone is saying. Uh, he got Ryan Otten's online business class in virtual reality or VR eliminates the distractions of a video conference call. I can't see my phone. I can't see an email pop up. So I'm fully focused on a, a great learning environment. Pagoni VR, through its project Chimera, created the VR experience with Otten's class at Temple University. The students appear as avatars in the virtual classroom, and the teacher shows up as either an avatar or real video that's live or recorded. This still gets the feeling of being a community, our sound is positional. So if that person spoke and they were to my left, I knew to look to the left and I would see them. Improvements in VR hardware allow headsets and handheld controllers to track head and hand movements through cameras and sensors. When participants move their hands in the real world, their avatar's hands also move. The technology has allowed a growing number of companies such as Pagoni VR to create a virtual reality meeting space for users. With increased demand, the biggest challenge is getting VR headsets during the pandemic shutdowns. Hardware availability, a lot of it is where the hardware is manufactured, so a point being made that a lot of this is coming from China. As factories start making headsets again, anyone thinking of trying a VR meeting probably shouldn't be immersed for more than an hour at a time in a heavy headset, warns Ottens. Usually the dizziness and headaches would start towards the last five to ten minutes, I could tell. It was right around the time. It was almost like my body's like, I'm done. Other applications for a VR meeting include worship services and entertainment. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.